This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Coolant renewal. To drain the system, first remove the expansion tank pressure cap. Apply the handbrake. Chock the rear wheels. Position the jack under the vehicle. Raise the vehicle using the jack. Position axle stands. Then lower the vehicle onto the stands. Remove the jack. Remove the retaining screws at the front and rear of the engine under tray and lower the tray. Remove the under tray. Where the intercooler hose restricts access to the radiator drain tap, remove the hose. Place a large drain container underneath the vehicle. Unscrew the radiator drain plug located at the left hand lower corner of the radiator, as viewed from the driver's seat. Note that access is limited. As soon as the coolant flows, direct as much of the escaping coolant as possible into the tray. Once the coolant has stopped draining from the radiator, close the drain plug. The drain container should now be removed from under the vehicle. Position the engine under tray. Refit and tighten the retaining screws to secure the under tray in place. This is how the under tray should appear once refitted, showing the correct location of all screws. Raise the vehicle using a jack. Remove the axle stands and lower the vehicle. Remove the jack. The chocks should be removed from the rear wheels. Prepare a sufficient quantity of the specified coolant mixture. Allow for a surplus, so you have a reserve supply for topping up. Slowly fill the system through the expansion tank. Since the tank is the highest point in the system, all the air in the system should be displaced into the tank by the rising liquid. Slow pouring reduces the possibility of air being trapped and forming airlocks. Continue filling until the coolant level reaches the expansion tank max level line. Then cover the filler opening to prevent coolant splashing out. Fit the expansion tank pressure cap and then run the engine at 2000 RPM for 10 minutes. Raise the engine speed to 3000 RPM for 5 seconds. Check the system for leaks. With the system cool, remove the expansion tank cap and top up the tank to the max level line. Refit the pressure cap, tightening it securely and clean up any further spillage.